we can we can start. I mean, first of all, I would like really to thank both of you uh, to have accepted our invitation. Uh, it's a it's a really privilege to to have you uh, here presenting your paper that we uh, found that of a very high methodological standard. So uh, I want to uh, really congratulate with you. And uh, as uh, all people know, we, we have here uh, Song Giao Liu <laughs> and uh, Xie Zhang Feng. I'm, yeah. I'm sure that my pronunciation is wrong, uh, but uh, Song Zhao is the first author of uh, a very recently published paper on germ uh, internal medicine on the effect of an herbal based injection uh, on mortality in patients with sepsis. Uh, he and his colleagues are from the Department of Critical Care Medicine at Zonga Hospital at the School of Medicine of Southeast University in Nanjing, in China. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. And I apologize for my pronunciation again. But uh, really congratulate with you for, for this uh, interesting paper that we read and discussed. Uh, and, and so we are pleased and honored to, to have you presenting your work and, and for um, discussing about that. So, uh, Songkiao, the floor is yours and thanks again. Okay, thank you, uh, Petandini. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll share my screen and uh, okay here and uh, I think is my PPT is on right? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet, but uh, we see your screen. Okay. Okay, here we go. Is that yes? Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you. And once again, thank you very much for your invitation, and a very uh, great honor to be here to share our paper published recently in JAMA Internal Medicine. And I'm um, Song Xiaoliu from Zhongda Hospital, Southeast University, and the corresponding author. Hai Bo Chu, uh, Professor Hai Bo Chu was not available uh, tonight, so we invite the another first author, Xi Jianfeng, uh, to uh, here to present the work together. Uh, the title of our paper was the effect of a horror based injection on 20 eight days mortality in patients with sepsis. And the short title is Egg Exit uh, Sepsis Rhythmus Trial. So uh, let's begin with the introduction as we all know that the sepsis is defined as a life-threatening organ dysfunction caused by a dysregulated um, host response. And also, um, the uh, began with the inf infection and uh, the um, it's better the inflammatory response, coagulation activation, uh, and also the cell response uh, and uh, immune disorders. <clears throat> so and leads to the organ dysfunction such as septic shock and uh, lung injury and so on. Uh, we we all know this picture, right? Uh, this paper and uh, they uh, show the global board, uh, burden of sepsis uh, in uh, 2070 worldwide. Uh, there are almost 50 uh, million people suffer with uh, sepsis and uh, 11 million uh, patients dead because of uh, sepsis or sepsis related. And there is a uh, epidemi 
epidemiology uh, uh, study um, conducted by our center, uh, led by Professor Hai Bo Chiu and also Jian Feng Xie was is the first author of this paper published in 2020 in uh, critical medicine. It enrolled, we uh, included 44 uh, ICUs uh, all over the China and uh, take two months. Uh, this is a prospective uh, observational study and it shows the uh, one fifth uh, ICU admission with sepsis and uh, the 90 days mortality was uh, almost uh, was 35.5%. Uh, so this is a, a huge uh, number and also uh, a, a, a large burden of the patients and the society. So, uh, so far there are several drugs and several studies uh, has showed that uh, there is no uh, one drug can uh, decrease the mortality of the sepsis patient. And uh, uh, the sepsis uh, treatment strategy still uh, remained on the antibiotics and uh, fluid resuscitation and uh, uh, sepsis bundle and the, the organ support. So the, and why we choose the shape the, the, the herbal based injection, uh, Shabijin injection, because this is uh, far from now the uh, very old, uh, very old uh, uh, combination of five herbals. And the um, uh, recently uh, been used in the ARDS patient since 2004, I think. And the mechanisms of CBG injection in sepsis patient is include, uh, including the anti-inflammatory uh, response and the anti-coagulatory um, effect and uh, immuno, uh, immunomodulation. And also uh, some study, uh, basic study show that uh, CBG can protect the endothelial and uh, anti um, oxidative stress function and other uh, issue uh, benefit in uh, basic uh, research. And also, uh, we start the Shibijin um, injection uh, clinical work uh, since in 2010. They are long, um, uh, long time. Uh, in 2010, we uh, recruit uh, 172 patients with ARDS and, and to, to, to uh, evaluate the shipping in ARDS patient, the effect of shipping injection in ARDS patient. And the result that can shows cannot reduce the mortality of ARDS patient, but it do uh, help for for improving uh, lung uh, function and oxygenation. Uh, this is published in Chinese and for, uh, so there are some, so I put some English here. And also we, uh, <clears throat> we um, collaboration, we, we uh, collaborated with another group in Shanghai and uh, uh, the uh, issue that the component uh, in shipping injection, there are uh, some, uh, uh, at least uh, six uh, components uh, have the effect in the uh, anti-sepsis uh, uh, mechanism. And also um, uh, the study issue that the shipping injection have, uh, have a uh, small bench-to-bench uh, a variation in the content of the mark, uh, of the marker constitute, constituent. So the quality evaluation in shipping is quite good to use uh, for the uh, sepsis patient. And uh, another group 
in Shanghai Zhongshan Hospital, and uh, they conduct uh, a randomized control trial uh, to see the shipping injection with placebo uh, for the critically early uh, patients with severe uh, community acquired pneumonia. And the primary outcome was eight days improvement in the pneumonia severity index. And uh, they uh, also, they, uh, they look at the mortality as a secondary outcome. And they show that the CBG in, um, injection can reduce the, 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 the 28 days mortality rate. Uh, even this as is a, a secondary outcome. And also there are small uh, observational study and other uh, small uh, uh, randomized control trial uh, show that the benefit uh, in the uh, 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 in the uh, sepsis patient with CPG injection. And this, this is a, a meta-analysis of the small uh, studies. Uh, the results show that they do have benefit for uh, 28 days mortality, and also the another uh, uh, meta analysis show the same result. But this is include only the the uh, on, uh, only the the uh, okay uh, the Chinese. Uh, paper. So, uh, the, what what the hypothesis or the question is, uh, the CPG effective is the CPG if injection effective in reducing mortality in patients with sepsis or not? We need a, a RCT or a, to answer this question. So we uh, plan to conduct this. Uh, double blind placebo control uh, multiple center study and to determine the efficiency efficiency and the, the uh, adverse effect of CPG in, in additional to uh, standard care for patients with uh, sepsis. And the, the method is uh, uh, planned for a long time uh, since 2016. Uh, we try uh, to plan this uh, multi-center uh, possible control uh, trial, <clears throat> and um, with the with uh, with the discussion of uh, several uh, meetings uh, with uh, experts, uh, clinical experts, and uh, ep uh, ep epidemiology experts, and other. Uh, so, and we um, also. Uh, Registered this uh, study in clinical trial and also published the protocol for this randomized trial. In uh, 2019 in MG Open. And this is the uh, trial set and the, the people, uh, the patients uh, we include or exclude inclusion criteria and exclusion criteria for this study. Uh, totally 45 I see across China uh, between 2017 and to uh, 2019. And uh, we followed uh, this patient uh, one, more than one month. And uh, all the patient uh, Admit in the ICU and diagnosis with sepsis three, and age is uh, eighteen to uh, seventy five years, and also the SOFA score is more than two and less than uh, thirteen. Uh, I will explain why we choose this including two year later, and uh, this is our. Uh, exclusion criteria. And we exclude the patient diagnosis, uh, diagnosis with sepsis more than uh, 48 hours. That means we enroll the patient with early phase of sepsis. 
And also, uh, we exclude the patient with uh, unresectable uh, uh, tumors and other um, hematologic disease, HIV infections, and also severe liver and kidney dysfunction patients. And uh, also the pregnant or breastfeeding pa patients. And we randomize the patient by um, uh, central uh, based uh, verbal response system and to uh, randomize this patient with a block size of four patients. And the 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 um, the sub um, the sub PI and include the patient and uh, registered in the system and get their uh, randomized number, and they you know uh, they send the number to to the to the drug uh, deliver, and uh, so the PI didn't know uh, they blended. So the intervention is uh, the patient uh, randomized to the CPG group, and uh, the um, the uh, the uh, given uh, one milliliter uh, CPG uh, injection mixed with normal saline every twelve hours for five days, and pass standard care. And uh, for the placebo group, they just give the normal saline and every uh, every 12 hours for five days. Uh, because these drugs uh, is herbal-based injection, so they are wrong. So for the blending, uh, we choose this plus uh, bag and the plus plastic tubing, uh, brown uh, plastic uh, Bag and the tubing to cover uh, the, the 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 color of the injection. So uh, on the except the drug manager and the study leaders who prepare the drug aware of uh, the randomization. Uh, the others uh, participate in the new study. They uh, are blended. Uh, such as patient, the uh, investigators, and the uh, uh, statisticians, they are blended. The outcome, uh, the primary outcome was all cause mortality uh, after randomization, uh, 28 days after randomization, and the second outcome include, uh, included the ICU and the hospital mortality and uh, the length of stay and the uh, ICU three days uh, from 28 days, and also the mechanical uh, ventilation three days, and also uh, the change, the uh, part two score and the sofa score and uh, day three and day six from randomization. And also uh, because this is, uh, this is for a uh, drug, so the safety outcomes include the any A and SAE uh, uh, in the observation period. Uh, about the uh, statistic analysis plan uh, for the sample size calculation based on the previous, uh, the previous Chinese epidemiology study of sepsis, uh, we call that chest study conduct in China in 44 uh, hospital. Uh, we um, used the 28 days all cause mortality rate of 24.3% uh, in the placebo group. And uh, we are assuming, we are assuming uh, uh, absolute risk the reduction of 6% in mortality rate. The power of 80% for two-sided two um, point uh, 0.05 significant level and with a, drop, with a dropout rate 
fifteen uh, percent. So the sample size was uh, eighteen hundred patients uh, for both for two groups. And so that's uh, this is why we choose the sofa score between two and uh, thirteen. Because from the uh, from the, the 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 previous observational study, we found that if the patient sofa score is more than okay, it's more than uh, thirteen, uh, the mortality rate will increase to more than almost uh, six sixty percent. So we don't want to uh, enroll. Uh, the patient with uh, patients too severe uh, cannot get benefit from these drugs. So, so we, so we uh, just enrolled the patient so far to go uh, from two to um, 13. Uh, so that is an increasing, uh, increasing criteria. Uh, and the primary outcome was is by the fitting uh, generalized line model with uh, bending wheel distribution and uh, identical link, and the others, and also the survival curve uh, were drawn, and uh, the subgroup pre uh, pre spec pre specified subgroup analysis were performed. Also, we uh, do some uh, sensitivity analysis for the patient without uh, 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 did without the outcome. Also, um, the adverse events data were uh, were provided. The sensitivity analysis were performed uh, both for the, uh, not only for the missing data, also uh, uh, for uh, control based pet model. And uh, the the also here is the result. Um, this is the the center participate in this study. Uh, totally um, forty five hospital uh, ICUs. And there is a planned study population enrolled this study uh, from two thousand and seventeen and to 2019 and uh, here is the planned curve and uh, the yellow one and um, is the actually uh, patient enrolled in this study and here's a flow chart that's totally um, almost 5,000 patients uh, assist for e uh, eligibility and uh, almost 3,000 patients excluded because of the, they met the exclusion criteria. Uh, at the end, uh, totally 18 and 17 patients uh, randomized and 911 patients randomized to receive ship injection and the other uh, 906 patients randomized to receive placebo. In uh, the um, uh, there there are five uh, there are 645 patients complete the five days treatment in uh, Shipping Group and uh, uh, 680 uh, patients complete the five days treatment uh, in uh, placebo group. And the rest of the dis discontinued dis uh, reason including transport flow because the patient is getting better and some patients died. This is the, this is the baseline uh, characteristics uh, between the two groups, uh, including the age, the ICU type, and also the primary site of in infection and uh, and uh, the medication within um, 48 hours before randomization and the patient with septic shock 
patient with mechanical ventilation support by the uh, ventilator or the patient with CRT, uh, only 10% of the patient uh, with CRT and almost uh, half of the patient uh, intubated and uh, uh, mechanical ventilated. And also the <clears throat> totally um, uh, I think most of the patients get uh, the culture proof the passengers and uh, most uh, the gram negatively uh, per the, the uh, bacteria was the majority of the uh, pathogens. And about the severity of the yearlies of the patient, including the study, the SOFA score, uh, the average SOFA score, the mean, average, mean uh, SOFA score was almost uh, seven in uh, placebo group and the shipping groups because they are two to uh, 13 uh, were enrolled uh, this study. In, uh, for the organ dysfunction, there are uh, more than 17 of the patients with respiratory failure and, uh, and uh, half, almost half of the patients with septic shock. And this is the primary outcome. Um, we found that um, 200 of 230 patients that in placebo group and 165 patients that in shipping groups, the risk difference of 7.3 percentage point. Um, we can see from the uh, survival curve and the speaking and the the, the severity, the uh, survival possibility, and uh, the 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 Shipping group patient is is better than the placebo group, and this is the predefined uh, uh, the the secondary outcome, including the ICU um, mortality and the hospital mortality. They all uh, significantly uh, different between. Uh, placebo group and shipping groups. And also the mechanical ventilation free days, ICU free days, and the change of sofa school and a patch school in uh, uh, after six days, after six days uh, for, for from, um, from randomization was uh, significantly different in both groups. And for the sensitivity analysis, because there are several uh, patients, uh, we didn't don't we didn't get the uh, eighty days, uh, twenty eight days outcome. Um, so we perform the sensitivity analysis for primary outcome, and also we do the final uh, POPS uh, analysis uh, POPS by TPA analysis and they all show the same result. And also we do the worst case analysis for a prime outcome uh, because of the missing uh, endpoint. For the pre, um, for the subgroup analysis of the prime outcome, we uh, can see here only the patient with a patch score more than 25 they are uh, aware that they are very small amount of the patient. And also the patient with CRT, uh, only a small portion of the patient. There are no difference. And the others, that they all show the uh, benefit in the subgroup analysis. And uh, we also, um, Prescribe the adverse events in uh, enrolled patient in all the population, and uh, they issue the uh, almost no difference between those two groups, and the um, uh, only uh, and they are only SAE only two point two point three percent 
in the placebo group and 1.5% uh, in the sheep gene group. So here we go to the discussion. So my finding of this large scale randomized trial found that in the sepsis patient treat with sheep gene was significant associated with lower uh, mortality and 28 days compared with the placebo. And also the subgroup analysis were consistent with the primary analysis. And also the sheep gene also can reduce the ICU mortality and uh, also the ventilator free days, ICU free days in compare with the placebo. And the our in our study, the mortality finding in uh, the placebo group is uh, consistent with the other uh, studies uh, in uh, with the sepsis patient uh, because the uh, our study the sofa score is uh, the average uh, value of sofa score is seven and the the preverse and uh, and uh, the uh, scarlet uh, trial was almost uh, a little bit higher so the what the, the, 28 days mortality is higher than uh, our uh, than our study. And uh, for our study, I think uh, there are three uh, crucial factors uh, to uh, get a benefit, uh, getting the positive result. Uh, firstly, is early use of shipping because in, we enrolled the uh, the patient diagnosis diagnosis uh, diagnosis with sepsis less than forty eight hours, and another thing is uh, the 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 uh, optimal duration of five days treatment. So th th that is the uh, between treat no regular treatment methods, and also we choose uh, the less severe uh, sepsis patient because we choose, we enroll the patient with sofa scotch from 2 to uh, 13. That's uh, not very severe and, er and we choose the earlier and um, not that severe patient. Uh, but also our study have some limitations. Uh, firstly, we know they are uh, 53 patients lost follow up, and uh, uh, this is a single country uh, trial only in China mainland, and we limited the generalizability uh, to the other countries. So, also the uh, some uh, some people uh, write uh, later to the general uh, to to see. Uh, we need a, a big uh, multi-nation uh, control, uh, randomized control trial to to see this benefit in uh, sepsis patients. And uh, so we uh, didn't uh, for uh, enroll the high risk of this patient. So uh, that's limited our uh, result for the severe patient. And also um, the antibiotic therapy um, before the randomization, uh, because we have to follow the guideline, uh, diagnosis, the sepsis, we uh, give biotics and the food resuscitation. That's the routine uh, treatment for the, uh, for the sepsis patient. And also we uh, didn't follow up uh, long enough to see the shipping long-term survival effect. Uh, and this is what we are doing now, trying to, uh, to see uh, three years uh, follow-up uh, of, of this group patient. 
So that is the conclusion and the effect of a uh, herbal based infection on the 28 days mortality in patients with uh, sepsis. Uh, this study shows the, the benefit uh, effect of these drugs. And, uh, and in the end, and I want to thank all the centuries groups and the patients enrolled in this study, uh, totally uh, 45 hospital and so many people engage in this work. And uh, I think that's for uh, all. And uh, thank you very much for your listening. Thank you so much, uh, Sun Kiao. It was very interesting. Then. You really have to be congratulated because the, the methodological standard is, is, is very high in, in planning of the and designing of the study, the analysis. Uh, so really, we enjoyed reading uh, your paper. <clears throat> As you also underlined in, in your presentation, uh, one of the, the, the aspects that should be considered is the generalizability of results. Uh -huh. uh, because they are so um, uh, so positive and so um, uh, interesting that uh, we could ask about, uh, about how uh, this result can be seen uh, can be seen also in in other uh, in other countries. Mm -hmm. And then I have mean, some question about that. Uh, if there are any questions from the participants, please uh, raise your hand and, and you can. Uh, <laughs> You can make any any question. My my first question <clears throat> is about the inclusion criteria. You, you acknowledge that you uh, choose to to have a, a relative low risk patient, and uh, and indeed uh, you selected the SOFA score quite low, as you uh, as you showed us, and uh, excluded patient with the liver or, or kidney dysfunction. Uh, with severe liver and kidney dysfunction. Uh, but uh, I would like to ask you if uh, this, uh, in your opinion, uh, has uh, an impact or had an impact on the efficacy of, 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 the, uh, of your compound, of your, your drug, let's say. Because uh, from the subgroup analysis, it doesn't seem that uh, the most severe patients uh, uh, would not benefit from uh, uh, from from the treatment. Uh, I, if you see the effect on septic shock or or different um, yeah. strata of yeah. there there are no difference in in apparent difference in, in efficacy. But do you think that including uh, just low risk patients? Is uh, is important from seeing the efficacy of of, of the this drug, or, or or not? Yeah, that that <laughs> that is the limitation of, of our study. Uh, that is true. Uh, firstly, why we choose a low risk of death patients? Because we because you see uh, the previous study, such as the the, the scarlet and other uh, sepsis study, uh, if the patient, they uh, enroll the patient's PACE score more than 25, they didn't see any difference. And uh, uh, these drugs we use in this trial, we have studied for years, and they have, they do, uh, the basic research they do show, uh, they uh, have several mechanisms for the uh, for the, uh, uh, the inflammatory response and the anticoagulation response and the, the cell death and so on. So uh, we're assuming that the drugs is effective in the sepsis patient, but uh, we're assuming that in the early phase, if if the uh, patient like you said it is severe. Uh, like the uh, patch score more than 25 uh, with uh, uh, with CRT, uh, there are small uh, proportion of the patients in our study, uh, they, uh, they didn't see any difference. Uh, 
So that's why. And also, uh, the epidemiology CV conducted by the Professor Hubert Chu and the Professor Jian Feng Xie showed that the SOFA score more than 13, the mortality rate will increase more than uh, 60%. So we, we, that's why we choose those, uh, uh, those proportion of uh, uh, patient, sepsis patient enrolled in our study. And for the previous uh, uh, question, uh, in other countries, because uh, especially in US, in the FDA uh, administrator of the of 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 the 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 the, the drug department, I think, uh, rewrote a uh, editorial for our uh, study. <laughs> Uh, so that there is a long way to go <laughs> to to uh, yeah. to put these uh, drugs in the U.S. and other countries because this is only um, um, in use in uh, China now, and uh, okay. so <laughs> need a long way to go. I think. Yeah. Yeah. What What surprised me is uh, such a large effort on mortality. Uh, also considering that uh, only. 70% of your patient completed the treatment, uh, uh, looking at your uh, flowchart. So even with uh, so many patients that uh, didn't uh, finish the treatment, you, you register a, a very large effect, which is very interesting. And, uh, but uh, what, what struck me is that uh, uh, compared to this large effect on mortality, uh, you saw a consistent but lower effect on secondary outcome like uh, ventilation free days or ICU free days, mm. uh, which can be viewed as a as sort of a, uh, uh, intermediate outcome. So I, I would have expected uh, to see it higher a larger effect on, on this intermediate uh, outcome uh, than on mortality, but we saw the opposite. Do you have any hypothesis or any idea uh, about this? Yeah, that's, uh, uh, I think it's been, <laughs> I, I tried. Um, you mean um, the 70% uh, of the patient uh, uh, complete the five days treatment because some of the patients getting better and they transfer there yeah, most of the patients uh, didn't finish the five days uh, treatment they are transferred to the flow and uh, discontinued for uh, through these uh, drugs and i think more than 100 in each group so majority of the patients discontinued for so maybe they, they can uh, they um, the benefit of these drugs is in the early phase. Uh, we are assuming that. We, are, that's we, we um, uh, enrolled patient uh, diagnosis of sepsis less than uh, 80, uh, 48 hours. Uh, that's why. So some of the patients died uh, in the five days, but a small uh, portion of those patients. And um, yes, as you mentioned, uh, the uh, subgroup analysis and also uh, the secondary outcome and the intimate uh, outcome like the, the change uh, of uh, Apache score and uh, SOFA score is uh, goes to the same trend and also a significant difference between the two groups uh, constantly with the primary outcome. So that makes our uh, conclusion stronger. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, another question. Uh, I, I, I was really surprised about the low, the low rate of uh, adverse effect. I mean, uh, you didn't see any uh, adverse effect, uh, uh, different any difference in uh, adverse effect uh, mm -hmm. compared to the, to the yes 
but how do you explain such a large effect on mortality and and such a, a, a low uh, toxicity of the yeah. drug? It was it was surprising because uh, we 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 saw and and, and you acknowledge it, many many documented mechanism of, of uh, uh, shibijin, mm-hmm. but we didn't see any adverse effect. Yeah. It's surprising in some way. Yes. Um, like you said, the adverse events rate was quite low in both group. Uh, the, this, is, uh, uh, this is about the methods we calculate the adverse events. We didn't uh, 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 include the death as the severe uh, advanced events because the death is our uh, primary outcome. So uh, we um, we include all the uh, all the lab uh, result. Uh, if the if the lab result in, uh, increase abnormal uh, abnormal than before, we everything that may be associated with drugs, and uh, also in the placebo groups. Uh, so we record uh, all the abnormal values and other uh, clinical signs, uh, but all, but didn't include the deaths. That's why uh, in the severe. Uh, advanced events, the only uh, 2.3, uh, 1.5, something. It's we didn't include deaths because it's prime outcome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, I, I I saw that um, you have a much higher proportion of patients with abdominal infection compared to Italian uh, case mix, for example. Do you think that? Uh, this can have uh, some relationship with the efficacy of your drug, considering the mechanism of, 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 of the drug or, or not? Because uh, you have quite a lot, even though your patients, have, most of your patients uh, have a lung uh, infection, you have uh, one third of patients with uh, abdominal infection, which is quite, is rare in, in Italy. So do you uh, think that this is an impact on the efficacy uh, of the drug? Okay. So what's your proportion in Italy? I don't know. <laughs> I have been in uh, Italy several times. And also this year, I just been to the, the, the uh, Rancos place. And uh, I don't know uh, what's the proportion in Italy uh, for the oh. sepsis primary site of infection. Uh, the, the the most uh, the most frequent is uh, is the respiratory infection, so uh, uh, lung uh, infection. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then. Okay. Go ahead. Which is much 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 higher than than yours is about sixty yeah. percent. Uh, mm-hmm. So and abdominal infection is, is is a bit rarer than than your case. So I I was I wonder if. Uh, this can explain in some way the efficacy yeah, of, of yeah. the drug. Yes, exactly. And uh, a, you know, there um, there may be uh, the different uh, ICO types uh, because in in our study, uh, most of the uh, ICU was general ICU. Uh, that I think that may be one reason uh, for. Our patient, the primary set of infection uh, is different with yours. And uh, in our ICU, yes, uh, we are general ICU. And uh, the lung, the lung infection is uh, the priority, and then it's the main uh, reason, the main set of the infection. And uh, but uh, there are general <coughs> ICU, there are some surgical patient in <laughs> the ICU too. So. Maybe that caused the difference, and also emergency uh, 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 emergency department. Uh, the patient maybe have a little bit more. Uh, the, but uh, I think the the most of the patient in this study still uh, the pneumonia or the from the lung infection, and only 
Yeah, like you said, one third, uh, 30, 30 percent of the ways they into abdominal infection. Yes, <laughs> I don't yeah, think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, I, I have some more comments. comments. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Professor Xie, but, uh, uh, I think it is the, in China the condition is very similar as in Italy. Um, for the epidemiological study, we found that the most frequent uh, frequency uh, infection site is longer, maybe nearly 70%. That yeah. was shown in 70%. our epidemiological that is, study. That's the number. However, yeah. in a randomized control study, we can see that uh, the study from America or from the Australia, we also can see the, the abdominal infections, the proportion of abdominal infection is high. I think the reason is just because we limited the SOFA score is less than 13. And if the patient has a primary pneumonia or lung infection, the, the SOFA score of respiratory is maybe three or four, and the SOFA score will be a little higher. So <laughs> we excluded a lot of patients with lung infections. So this is why the, the proportion of the uh, infection site which just show like this. Yes, thank you. Anyway, last question. Uh, do you think, uh, is it possible to isolate uh, the active components of uh, uh, Shibijin and to uh, have a new synthesized drug for, mm. for <laughs> yes. or <laughs> you, you mentioned that in FDA, for example, you don't have... Uh, yes, we are uh, doing that. <laughs> yeah, but do you think it is it is possible to derive a synthetic yeah. drug from your compound or not? Yes, yes, exactly. Like uh, Professor Xie said, we are doing that now, and we are right now. Last week we are doing the experiment to see the 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 six uh, components of the shipping in the in the in the rat uh, in the mouse. And also, we try to figure out what's the mechanism of each uh, component of shape gene, uh, especially for the six uh, uh, majority of the components of shape gene. And hopefully, we can get uh, that uh, uh, the main <laughs> mechanism of shape gene benefit for the for the sepsis patient and. Uh, Hopefully, we can get uh, the, uh, uh, the new uh, molecules that the play the same role uh, in uh, sepsis patients or in the, uh, in the bench study first, and we can uh, go to the clinical study. <laughs> that is still a, 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 a way to go, I think. We are planning to do that, and also we are doing that now. So, <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you again for being with us today. It was a privilege for us. And again, congratulations for your very interesting work and, and for the future project that you are going to, uh, to perform. And thanks again. And uh, Hope to read you again uh, on the later. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for again for your invitation. And hopefully we can uh, get uh, closer and uh, we see you in Tani or uh, in China. In China. Uh, Welcome to yeah. China. <laughs> yeah. We can, uh, we can have uh, some uh, cooperation uh, in the future, maybe, and in some. Uh, studies like this one. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Thanks so Thank much. You. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Yeah. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah.